Welcome to our second tutorial on the Rectangular Pattern Tool. In this tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at the Compute option on the Rectangular Pattern dialog window. We're in Sketch 1. Let's begin by creating a shape. And let's close our profile. Right-click. Done. Now let's apply some dimensions. For this dimension, 1.5 inches. OK. Let's make this side 0.125. And this side 3 eighths of an inch. OK. And lastly, this segment will be half an inch. OK. Let's exit the sketch. Activate the Extrude tool. 1 inch. OK. And let's create a second sketch. Select. Let's take a top view. Now activate the Circle tool. Let's drop our circle right about here. Right-click. Done. Now let's right-click and select Slice Graphic. Let's dimension the circle. The diameter will be an eighth of an inch. OK. And let's apply a second dimension also, an eighth of an inch. OK. Let's exit the sketch. And we're going to create a hole with the Extrude tool. Let's select this profile. Distance. Let's enter a quarter of an inch. Let's take a side view and click OK. Now activate the Rectangular Pattern tool. Under Features, let's select Extrusion 2. Direction 1, this line. Now for the spacing. Let's make it a quarter of an inch. Under Compute, I'm going to select Optimized. Click OK. Let's double click on our rectangular pattern feature in the browser. Expand. Basically, the optimized option copies the faces of the pattern feature. That's the fastest computing method. But there are some limitations. Let's check those out. If I try to overlap the pattern feature, for example, I'll get an error message. The occurrences fail to execute. Let's click Edit. Let's try it out with the identical compute option. Click OK. And we have no problem. OK, let's double click on the rectangular pattern feature again. Just like its name indicates, the identical option basically creates a feature by replicating the original feature. To demonstrate, let's offset by 7 eighths of an inch. You'll notice that we don't see the preview now. Let's click OK. Now let's go to the View tab, and we'll select Hidden Edges. Since our original hole was a quarter inch in depth, the second hole doesn't go through. Well, let's take a moment to fix that now. We'll double-click on Extrusion 2 and make some edits. Under Extents, let's select All this time. Click OK. And now you see that we've got two identical holes. Let's double-click on our rectangular pattern again. Back to Compute, we're going to select the Adjust option this time. This option rescales the distance where the feature terminates. This option is the most CPU intensive. Let's try it out. Click OK. And here is our second hole. The load on the CPU is something to consider when you've got a very complex pattern. This concludes our second tutorial on the Rectangular Pattern Tool.